in the old days, and this is a good one to know about because they'll test you on it, on like CISSP and some of the other kind of staple exams. They'll want you to know what a Smurf attack is. And a Smurf attack is based on directed broadcast, which is a concept not even a lot of network people know that well. Um, when you look at networks, like the 8 network, we all like to use you know 8.8.8.8 and 4.2.2 for uh, DNS servers. Well, the 8 network actually belongs to somebody. Just like when we look at the 15 and 16 networks, these are class A, but both of these guys, for instance, belong to Hewlett Packard. So if you own the entire 15 block, you've got room for like 16 million addresses. Well, the concept of directed broadcast is when you send a message to the entire 15 block. So if I sent a message to the IP address 15.255.255.255, this is a directed broadcast. And the way that you would do a Smurf attack is you would spoof, <coughs> excuse me, like an ICMP echo request, which is a type eight. And I go, hey, and I pick somebody else's address, 7.8.9.10. I go 7.8.9.10, that IP address has an echo request for 15.255.255.255. This source IP is spoofed. This is the victim. What this is going to do is send one ICMP echo request out. It's teeny tiny. But everybody who starts with a 15 is going to send a reply. So you can get a return on investment. For one request, you might get back, theoretically, 16 million replies. 16 million. Why? Because you're asking everybody in the 15 space, are you there? We don't send one ping, I send 100 pings. And what happens there is this number of replies, I get 16 million replies per request. So this is an example of what's called bandwidth amplification. By sending out one tiny request, I can get a larger reply and even multiple larger replies to come back. Again, the idea is that the victim's sitting there twiddling his thumbs and all of a sudden he's getting hammered with all this ICMP traffic, all these replies from all these users. They're tiny, they're little messages, but you're getting overrun by tons of them. That's why it was called the Smurf attack.